Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I thought it'd be really fun to try out some brands that I've never tried before. A couple of them I've heard of but just had never gotten around to trying and then there's a new brand that I had never heard of and a package showed up at my doorstep and I was like I need to review this because the price range for everything with that brand is five to fifteen dollars and I was like I've got to try it out. I always love to find good new affordable products so hopefully we'll be able to find something good today. There's not much else to say other than that so let's just get right into it. I did my brows off camera and I use the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. I'm really into this. I really like how it wears and I like how it applies. So the very first product we're going to be trying out is from Flesh Beauty. I've heard about Flesh before. They are available at Ulta and this is the Fresh Flesh Illuminating Primer. This primer retails for $32. Look at the packaging. It's like a glass bottle. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. And it says smooth on this ethereal primer after skincare and before makeup or wear it alone. Um, it has photo reflecting ingredients, pro vitamin B5 and glycerin, and it's supposed to make your face look fresh and glowy. Love that. Okay, let's try it out. I'm going to do about one pump for now. Just about that much. I just don't know. <laughs> we'll see how far this goes and what it looks like. And we might add more or this might be perfect. Oh, there's a nice scent to it. And it's definitely gliding on the skin really nicely. It feels very watery at first, but now it's like drying down to a little bit more of a silicone feel, which I kind of like. Hmm. The only thing I'm not super sure about is the scent. It's definitely like a nice fragrance, but for me, I have sensitive skin, so I usually try to choose products that don't have fragrance. You know what it smells like? It smells like the Dior Backstage Primer. All right, for foundation, I wanted to try out the Haley's Reset Liquid Matte Mattifying Foundation. I have been meaning to try this for so long and it's been sitting in my to try bin for such a long time. I've wanted to try this and I just haven't had a chance and I felt like this video would be perfect to pull it out and actually try it. This foundation is available at Target I believe and it retails for about $20. Here's the packaging. I think it's really cool and really sleek. You just pull off the lid and then this is what it comes out of right here and I actually just swatched it earlier to see if it would be a good shade and I hope that it will work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some on the back of my hand about that much and let's go in with a foundation brush first. I'm going to take my Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm just going to dip into that foundation and I'm going to start kind of from the center of the face and buff outwards. It's supposed to be pretty full coverage, I think. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep blending that out. Okay, yeah, I think the shade will work nicely. Wow, I really like the coverage and finish so far and it seems to be working really nicely on top of that primer. Sometimes I get worried when I try like a new foundation and new primer because there's always a possibility of products not working together, but so far, this seems to be working nicely. So I'm just buffing some more foundation on. I'm making sure to blend it down the neck. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and take what's left on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go over everything to make sure it's all nice and blended out. Okay, I really am liking the finish so far. Even though it says it's a matte foundation, I feel like the finish is very natural. It could also be that dewy primer we have underneath. But I really like that shade on me and I really like the finish. So let's go ahead and move into concealer. This is the new affordable brand at Target. It's called Makeup Obsession. And as I was looking up more info about it online, I saw on the Revolution Beauty website. So it seems to be a sister brand to Makeup Revolution. I don't really know all the details, but that's kind of what I'm gathering since it is on their website. This is a concealer. Can you believe how big this is? It's kind of crazy. But this is the Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal Longwear Concealer with Caffeine. And I'm going to use the shade, or I'm going to try to use the shade 04. This concealer retails for around $10. I'm saying around because I saw a couple different prices. Whoa, wait. <laughs> Look at this doe foot applicator, you guys. Oh my goodness. I like started to go in and apply it and then realized this doe foot is kind of crazy, but kind of nice. Oh my goodness. But anyways, the prices are kind of differing depending on whether you're buying it on target.com or from Revolution Beauty themselves. So if I'm saying that something's around a certain price, that's why. Well, we're just gonna go ahead and conceal it up, aren't we? I think I'm having too much fun with this applicator. Okay, well the shade looks good, so that's a plus. Let's go ahead and blend all of this out with my sponge. I really enjoy so many products from Makeup Revolution or Revolution Beauty is what it's called now, and so I really hope that these perform just as well. Okay, not bad. I feel like that concealed pretty well. It definitely is more of a full coverage concealer, but it's not like full, full coverage. I don't know if that really helps, <laughs> but hopefully you understand what I mean. Like I feel like the formula is a little bit more sheer, but I also wouldn't add any more to where I added, so. I'd say it's more of like a medium to full coverage, depending on how much you build up. All right, so there's the complexion so far. I honestly don't have any complaints right now. We are gonna try out a new powder. This is the Makeup Obsession Pure Bake Transparent Powder. 
This retails for $7.99. Okay, so there's just like a big stopper and then it's a bunch of powder in here. We will see how this goes. It seems like it's very finely milled and some powders like this I love and others I absolutely hate. So we will see how this works. I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of this and start to set the under eye area first. Oh dear, oh no, I'm making a mess. It's dirty, it's like fluffing around everywhere. <coughs> breathing it in. On the bright side, it looks very smoothing and very HD under the eyes, but wow, it's so finely milled. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna try to take it on a larger fluffy brush and we're gonna go ahead and set the rest of the face with this. I'm gonna try to close my eyes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I normally don't like formulas like this because they're so finely milled that it just gets everywhere. But then it's kind of hard because it looks really nice up close. Like the powder looks really nice underneath the eyes. Uh, I'm gonna set the foundation on the neck as well, and hopefully that's enough powder for us for today. What do you think? You know what? I completely forgot to uh, put concealer on the eyelids, so I'm just gonna take that same concealer, and I'm gonna blend it out with my sponge, and then I'm gonna take that small brush again, with just a tiny bit of that powder, and I am going to set the eyelids with this as well. So I'm actually pre-filming this video, and I just realized that the giveaway that I've been working on will be posted by now. It's not posted when I'm filming this, but I have a massive giveaway now that's live on my channel. You guys should definitely check it out if you haven't already. It's to celebrate my 400,000 subscriber milestone and there are 400 winners. So you do not wanna miss out. Let's warm up the complexion. This is also from Makeup Obsession. It's called the Give Me Some Sun Bronzer Palette. Here's what it looks like and here's what it looks like on the inside. I'm personally leaning toward these uh, matte shades right here, but we might play with some of the shimmers. You never know. So I'm gonna start off by dipping into Buff, which is the more cool tone shade. I'm just gonna start to build this up on the cheeks. I don't really know what to expect. I like the complexion so far, so I really don't wanna ruin it with anything. Okay, I'm gonna mix these two. This is Buff and Raise. Maybe they will look nice together, because I do like a little bit of warmth. Okay, yeah, I really like that. I'm just gonna keep warming up the complexion with this. How have you guys been? And what have you been up to this summer? Have you guys been traveling at all? What's been going on? I want to know, so comment down below. I honestly have not been traveling as much as I normally do in the summer. There's obviously a lot of things going on, but I feel like we haven't hopped on a plane like we normally do. I feel like this past winter was so busy for me as far as traveling goes. And it's just kind of been nice to be at home more. I really, really enjoy it. And I feel like I finally had some time to like decorate my house. If you guys don't know, my husband and I bought a house in February and it just takes a long time to settle in and to really figure out, you know, what you wanna do. But this month we've really started to take all the furniture stuff seriously and we started in our master bedroom and it was just so nice to kind of get things decorated and situated in the master bedroom. And now we're kind of working on the rooms outside of that, but I feel like that's what most of my time is dedicated to outside of YouTube, obviously. I'm actually gonna go into highlight first. Before blush, I mean. This is the Makeup Obsessions Mega Lightning Highlighter. Here's what it looks like. I'm actually kind of excited to try this. It looks pretty in the pan. But I don't like super glittery highlighters, so we'll see. I'm just gonna take my highlighting brush, tap off the extra, and let's see what this does. Okay, okay. Oh no, oh dear. I put too much on the forehead. Fingers crossed that my makeup looks okay today because I've got places to go after this. So if any product doesn't look good, oh man, it could be awkward. Oh, but the main thing I'm most excited about, oh my gosh, I don't remember if you guys remember, but I think I told you that I was trying to figure out my new setup in my new beauty room and that I purchased a vanity from, um, what's it called? Oh my gosh, Impressions Vanity. And I was so excited about it. And then they emailed us like, sorry, it's actually out of stock. It won't be in stock for another three months. And I was so sad because it was like my dream vanity, but it actually turned out to be a blessing in disguise because now I'm gonna be doing custom cabinets. I can't wait to show you guys and I can't wait for them to actually install it, but it's gonna be so perfect. It's gonna fill up an entire wall of my beauty room with just drawers and shelves and I can't wait. And it's way better than that vanity was. So I'm just really, really excited. And obviously I will definitely kind of record the process and I think it'd be fun to do a video on it. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I think it'd be kind of fun to show you guys, you know, the process and then obviously like a beauty room tour, maybe as another video, but let me know if you'd be interested in that. All right, for blush, we're going to go into some Flesh Beauty blushes. And I'm actually so excited about these. Uh, these retail for $26. So this brand is like not 
very affordable, but it's also not very expensive. It's kind of right in the middle. But $26 for a blush is pretty expensive. This one right here is in the shade Pulse, and this one right here is in the shade Hug, if I can get it open. I'm thrilled about both of these shades, let's be honest, especially this one. I feel like I will start with this one. If I want a little bit more pink, I can always add it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and dip my blush brush into the pan, and I'm gonna smile and just apply that to the apples of the cheeks. Oh my goodness. I think I like that. I love a good like nudie peach blush. I kind of want it to blend it more than it is. You know, see how it kind of is staying in just one spot? I'm not trying to buff it. It's not buffing. It is. Okay, I usually like to take my uh, powder brush anyways and just kind of buff over that. Did I just wipe away all the highlighter? I feel like it just went away when I did that. <laughs> uh, but maybe I'll apply a little bit of the pink shade called Pulse. Just kind of like right here. I don't know, I'm just making it up as I go, let's be honest. And I'm just gonna buff that into the skin as well. Okay, not too bad. Okay, I'm actually excited about this eyeshadow palette. This is also by Makeup Obsessions. It is around $9. Did I ever tell you how much the highlight was? The highlight is $5 highlighter I used. But this whole color scheme just spoke to me, obviously. It's neutrals, it's pinks, it's bronzes. I love those kinds of shades. So I thought it'd be fun to play with this palette. They sent me a few. Actually, I forgot to mention that Makeup Obsession and Flesh sent me a ton of products. I just kind of went through them and picked out the ones that I was immediately drawn to. And then, you know, if I'm interested in trying the other products, I definitely will go back and try those and I'll keep you guys updated. But for now, I just picked the things that like immediately caught my eye. So I'm gonna go into the shade Treasure. My chair is squeaking so much today. I'm just gonna go ahead and take Treasure and kind of buff it through the crease and above the crease as our transition shade. Okay, I'm really liking that shade as I'm buffing it out. It's just a really nice soft pinky peach, which I personally love as a transition shade. I'm actually also gonna take that and run it right underneath the lower lash line and then buff it out toward the end right here. All right, so far so good. I really like that shade as a base. And now I'm gonna go into the shade Beloved or Beloved, I don't really know. And I'm gonna use this to kind of deepen up the outer corner. So right here, it is taking me a few tries with this shade to get any pigment really. Very subtle, which is sometimes nice, but when it comes to like trying to deepen up the outer crease, I'm not sure if I love this shade. It would probably work better as a transition as well. Um, so I'm just gonna try to get it even on both eyes and then I'm gonna go into something deeper. I'm gonna take the shade Soulmate, which is this darker brown, and we'll see if this deepens it up the way I want it to. There we go. That's a little bit better. I just can't help it. I have to try that shade. So it's not really a revolutionary makeup look, but I have to try it. This one's called Starry Eyed, and I'm gonna go in with my finger and just apply this to the eyelid. Ooh, it seems to have like visible glitter flecks in it, which I was not expecting actually. It's really pretty. It is taking me like a few times of going in the pan and layering it up to really get the effect that I want, but you can definitely work with it and build it up to something really nice. I'm just gonna do the same thing on this eye. I'm having to like really dig into the pan to get a good payoff with this shade, but once it's on the eyes and once it's built up, it is really pretty. It's just not quite as easy to work with as some other shadows like this that I own. I'm just gonna dust away any fallout that got underneath the eyes. Next, I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Bow. And I just really want to kind of deepen up the lower lash line on the outer portion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run that right along the lashes just to kind of give that a little more definition. All right, let's use some mascara. I don't have like a new one to use. I've wanted to give this one another try. This one's from Pat McGrath. It's the Fetish Eyes Mascara. I've heard so many good things about it and I've only used it a couple times and I'm like not floored yet. So I just wanna try it again just to kind of solidify my opinion on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply two coats to the top and bottom lashes. So the mascara looks nice right after applying. I've used it several times with like a primer before, but I don't think I've given it a fair chance on its own. So we will definitely see how it wears today. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off any foundation that got on the lips, which is quite a bit actually today. I'm gonna go in with a lip liner. This one's not new to me. It's the ColourPop Lippy Pencil, and this is in the shade Another Round. I'm just gonna go ahead and line and fill in the lips with this. Okay, I really like that color. And then I wanted to try out this Flesh Hot Sauce Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Like Stillness. They sent me a few shades, and this is the one that really stood out to me, so I wanted to try it. This retails for $18, and it says it's supposed to have a comfortable texture, so we will see. But I just really liked this color. Ooh, ooh, I really like this color. It's a little bit minty, and it's very comfortable. It's not sticky at all. 
out. I'm just taking my finger and kind of mixing the two products together because sometimes lip liners or lipsticks and glosses don't mix together well. I'm hoping this one does. We'll keep an eye on it and see if it separates at all. As of now, it's really, really nice and really comfortable. All right, let's step back and assess the situation and then we will wear it throughout the day and see how everything goes. Um, I am gonna add a little bit more bronzer. Something's going on around the cheek area. I can't figure out like what's missing or what's, I don't know. It needs something, but I can't figure it out. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little more bronzer to the forehead as always. I even feel like I'm gonna try to apply more highlighter because it just feels like it disappeared. If I can find the highlighter, <laughs> here it is. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of layer that up. Right off the bat, it's not my favorite. It just seems to highlight so much texture. Where like my current favorite highlighter from Honest Beauty doesn't do that. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna take it though, and I'm gonna also use it as an inner corner highlight. So let's go ahead and pop that right in the inner corners. I feel like that's actually really pretty in the inner corners. Also gonna apply a little bit right underneath the brow bone. And then I feel like I need more blush. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the pink one and I'm just gonna kind of pat that on the cheeks. There we go, I feel like that's a little bit better. All right, we're gonna set the face with a new setting spray from Makeup Obsession. This is a dewy makeup fixing spray. So it's supposed to make your skin look more dewy. We will find out. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna spray it from far away. Okay, a little fan. It doesn't really smell like anything. I mean, it has a smell but it's not like a fragrance. It smells like pool water or something. I can't tell. I'm also going to run a little bit of the Glossier Boy Brow right through my brows to hold them in place all day. And then let's do a wear test. So looking at my makeup, I like it. I don't love it and I can't figure out what's wrong. Cause like it looks pretty good. The complexion looks pretty good up close. I do have a little bit of a dry patch on my nose. So ignore that, but I'm trying to figure out what's like missing. The under eyes look very smooth from that powder. Maybe it's the bronzer that's throwing me off. I don't know. Regardless, we're gonna wear it for the rest of the night and see how I feel about it. So it's currently 4, 18 PM. I'm really interested to see how this foundation wears. There are a couple products that I'm really excited about and it will all kind of depend on how they wear throughout the day. I wasn't floored by a lot of the other products. Like the eyeshadows were just okay to me. Obviously the bronze shade is really nice, but it just took so much work to build it up to that pigment. So I'm kind of iffy about that. I'm actually really excited about this gloss. It feels so nice on the lips and I'm excited about the foundation and the concealer. We'll see how it all works. Okay, I better stop talking. We'll do a wear test. I will see you guys in my first check-in in a little bit. All right, so I just walked upstairs from filming and I'm by a window so you guys can see how it looks in natural light. Everything looks good on camera. I still can't figure out what's missing. I think it might be the bronzer blush situation and maybe the highlighter just, it's kind of like gone. I'm not sure, but here's what it looks like. We will wear it for as long as possible or I will wear it, I guess. And I will let you guys know what I think of it by the end of the night. I love how this gloss feels though. That's like the thing that I really am liking right now. So I will keep you guys posted and I'll see you in my next check-in. All right, you guys, so I am back. It's actually the end of the night. I did not do another check-in after that one. It is currently 1.09 in the morning. Let's talk about the makeup. The Pat McGrath mascara left a bunch of little flakes underneath my eyes. I can't handle that. I decided I really, don't like it. I've given it enough chances by now and I just know it's not something that I'm gonna keep reaching for, which kind of hurts my heart a little bit because it's Pat McGrath and I really was hoping that everything from her would be really superb because it's not exactly the cheapest brand. Uh, so yeah, do not love that about the mascara. The foundation is actually holding up pretty nicely besides the dry patches on my nose. It's not looking very good there, but it didn't really settle into my lines that much. It really doesn't look too bad, but I don't think it's like my favorite foundation ever. The eyeshadow actually still held up pretty good. There is a little bit of glitter fallout underneath the eye though. And at this point, I feel like there are a lot better like drugstore makeup items. I don't know, I just feel like I had a little bit of an iffy makeup day. The eyeshadow is okay, but honestly, there's better things out there. I guess maybe the concealer and powder were kind of nice. I don't know, I'm just honestly not really floored by anything. I will say I loved this gloss. So, you know, I feel bad when sometimes videos go like this because I want to recommend good products to you guys, but you know, sometimes not everything is incredible, you know? And so I think what I will take from this is this gloss. I was also really excited about the flesh primer. I definitely feel like I'm gonna keep trying that maybe with other foundations. This foundation I still feel like was pretty good. I might try to wear it again and try it with other primers and things like that. I was not really a fan of the bronzer. 
and I actually was not even a fan of the blush really. I'm gonna try it again because the color's really nice, but there was just something about it that didn't blend out on the skin like I wanted it to. It was just kind of like, it was just kind of okay. All day long, I felt like my makeup looked just okay. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Um, let's see, the highlighter is like not there anymore. It's kind of there on my temples, but it really brushed off so fast on my cheeks. So I wasn't a fan of that either. I usually feel like I find a lot of great things, especially affordable things at Target or at the drugstore, but this was kind of like mostly just an okay video. I don't think anything was a complete flop, but at this point I feel like I've tried so many things that it takes quite a bit for me to really be impressed by something and really recommend it to you guys. So as of right now, this gloss is awesome. Everything else, I'm kind of on the Fence. Is that so lame? Is that like the lamest video ever? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if you guys have other opinions about any of the products that I tried. Are any of these products like your favorites? If so, I will definitely try to give them another shot. But yeah, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, even though I know the end wasn't as positive as I normally would like it to be. Onward and upward. <laughs> if you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays when I upload, Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!